guys. <clears throat> so question I get a lot. You've got a fan that mounts with a J-hook and you're missing the grommet. And uh, what can you do? Well, you can order them. Uh, Hunter still sells them. Envirofan still sells them. Pretty much any company that still has J-hook fans will sell you one. But, you, you know, they're usually pretty reasonable. Less than $5 and, you know, but you got to pay shipping and you have to wait for it. So, I've discovered a solution here at my local hardware store. I'm starting here, I'm in the electrical department. And I'm in the rubber bushing section. And so the first thing I do is I go here in the bushings drawer. And there are these large... Don't tell me they're out of them, that's gonna suck. large rubber bushings here just to give you a gauge of the size there they are next to the down rod how you doing Larry there they are next to the other one so I'm doing a demonstration video of how to make a missing part from look from heart from parts you can find here in the store so you want you want to be a star Larry okay <laughs> so, that's Larry, the manager of the store here. He's been here since I was a kid. He knows everything there is to know. So, got the rubber grommets here. And then I go over here to the... I go to the... I don't know what you call this. Just vinyl tubing, clear vinyl tubing. And I believe this is the one that I use. It's a half inch inner diameter, five eighths outer diameter, and you'll see it fits right over the center of that bushing. So what I need to do is cut a piece that's just long enough for both of those bushings. Let me see if I can, uh, where's the cutter? Might be a little bit too big. There's the piece that I cut. Let's see how much see how that is. It might be a little bit too big. Okay. I can see I cut it just a little bit too big. It's kind of hard to do this and hold the phone at the same time. So you get the idea. So let me set the phone down. Cut it just a hair smaller. So now what we have essentially functions as the grommet. So Put it inside the, the down rod claw. Okay, so now we're going to go over. That was the plumbing. We've been in the electrical section. Now we're in the plumbing section. Now we're going to go over to the uh, <clears throat> to the screws. Now this is a locally owned True Value franchise here that is by far the best hardware store I've ever dealt with. Um, sometimes Ace has these same parts, but it depends on the Ace you get. So you want to find the biggest bolt that will fit in the hole in the grommets because you uh, don't want to, uh, too small and it'll, the grommets will start to get misshapen. So 5 16 looks like about right. 5 16 and Okay, so 5 16 and an inch and a half is a little bit on the short side. So we're going to go with 5 16 and 2 inches. And then what I do, I use a stop nut. It's like a nut with a piece of plastic in it.
I'm going to hand tighten it, but you'll want to tighten it more than just by hand. So that's what you have resulting. And it'll work just like one that you got from the store, from, not from the store, from the, uh, ordering it from the factory. Okay. So, the next question is, is, well, what do you do if you have a down rod, you want to mount it with a J-hook, and you're missing the claw? Well, what I've done in the past, and let's see, I think I know where to find them, is I've used mending plates. You can go over here and find, looking for the shortest ones. Those are still pretty long. But you get the idea. I don't know where the shorter ones are. But you get basically, you'd put it together. I guess we'll put it together with the longer ones. Um, and uh, just to demonstrate. So we're going to take the mending plates and we're going to go back over by the screws. I don't think that 5 sixteenths is going to fit, but the, nope, the quarter, where's the quarter 20s? Again, I'm not going to tighten these further than by hand. So, so far we have two mending plates and a bolt with another stop nut on it. It's a quarter 20 bolt. Again, I know they have shorter mending plates. I just didn't spot them right away. And you can always cut these as well. Sometimes I've gotten, well, sometimes I've gotten uh, larger ones and cut them because it fit more precisely to what I was looking for. So, I'm looking for quarter 20. Here we go. So I've got quarter 20 and a two inch screw. Actually, I think one and a half will probably do it. Another stop nut. Okay. So, again, if these were a little bit shorter, you wouldn't have quite such a big gap there, and it wouldn't need to be such as big of a gap. But the end result is that you have a J-hook grommet mount. This was the larger bolt for the larger claw, and the whole cost is less than if you ordered one. Let's see if I can put the phone down and show you. Nope, that's the downside. Let me just take it apart here. I don't have. So, I'm going to take this apart and put all these back because I actually don't need one today. But uh, I was asked on how to do it. So, now you can see, like I said, two electrical grommets. A small piece of, of pipe. Of vinyl tubing, I guess is what it was called. Plastic tubing. Bolts. And if you don't have the claw, then mending plates. Thanks for watching.